All right, folks, one of my friends and co-workers as we try to uplift our people is Robert Randolph. Robert, I'm honored that you'd be a part of this FinFest, but I'm, I'm even more honored that you'd be my friend. How you doing? I'm so honored to meet you, uh, to, to talk to you today. I almost called you Dear Holy Apostle. Man, get out of here. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, the first time I talked to you, you were in a car. You were riding with our, our dear and departed brother, uh, Bishop Omar. Bishop Omar, yep, yep. That brother is so amazing, man. He literally gave us life and left this legacy for all of us to, to carry on. You know. really did. You you grew up in the church, basically, yep. and as such, you learned church music, right? What church did yep. you grow up in? I grew up in a, a, an organization called the House of God Church. It's one of the oldest Pentecostal organizations in the U.S. Small organization, very old school, old time church where I learned how to play the pedal steel guitar. And in our church, the pedal steel guitar is basically like the organ in the Baptist church. But, so, but being a Pentecostal church, you, you played basically gospel music, what we would yep. call religious music. Yes. And, and your, your chord structure, your rhythm, your, your music really hasn't changed much. No, never changed, man. You can't take the you can't take the, the gospel out of the out of right. out of the guitar, man. The guitar was anointed in church in church. So how those did you chords, get from a small Pentecostal church to a major platform in so many genres? I mean, you your R and B, your your gospel, you are um what? Blues, rock and roll, blues, country, rock and roll. Folk. Yeah. I mean, well, so what happens, our church music start, got discovered by a, a folkloric record label called our Huli records and th they started to document our church's story of pedal steel guitars being hit in a church because it was never heard in this in this context so they how did they find you the, how did they find you robert we put on the a thing called the first which was the sacred steel convention oh. and where all of our players uh came together for the first time so they came to our church they started to document the story I met a guy there. He uh, said, hey, man, this music has a much farther reach than what you guys have been doing. So I played at a, a club on, on Mercury Lounge in New York City. We literally played all of the same music that we played in church right at this club. Right. And that's sort of been our connection. The name Robert Randolph has always been affiliated with music that lifts people and picks people up and give them that sense of hope. And uh, just as you would do in a church service, you can look up and see Robert Randolph in the Smithsonian Museum as being this influential, they call it new style, but we had already been doing it for 100 right. years in, in our church. So well, it, was, it, was, it was due to them. <laughs> you're not just making money, you're also helping other people. You're giving back. You, you, you organized the largest celebration of Juneteenth we've ever had in this country last year what made you do that C coming off of watching the, the the george floyd incident the murder and watching what that did to the world it saw that the world was looking for a need to unify something to come together i saw that through the, through the story of juneteenth through its history through our history as black americans in this country right. now we have a holiday that we could come together and celebrate i want yes. to congratulate you for that <laughs> you you know that today is a festival of a different kind. Today is a festival to connect people with financial resources, but it starts with people being willing to ask for help. It's great that this festival here today is providing answers, solutions for people on the spot. So I'm thankful. I'm actually happy to be a part of this festival. Now you have a chance to do two things. First of all, you can hear Robert Randolph's music as documented in the African-American History Museum in Washington, D.C. You can experience it right now. So, so when you go to Washington and see it, you'll know exactly what you're seeing. And you have a chance <laughs> to click the link that takes you to the source of help that you need. There are live people right now ready to talk to you about you. So listen to Robert's music, connect with the resources. Don't be ashamed to accept help. Listen, this is Robert yes. Randolph. I, I can't tell you how much I admire you. All of you should get to know Robert Randolph. You can Google him, go to you, you and you'll see him and you'll say, wow, I know him. Thank you, Robert, for participating. Thank you. Today.
Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Your music. God bless you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.